Well, if you buy a Windows 8 computer from a big box store, it won't be obvious, but something's missing. That something is a sticker? What's the big deal? We're finding out in this latest installment of Compute This. Back today, the owner of Schrock Innovation Store, Schrock. Good to see you, hey, Thor. Thor. Pretty good. Hey, you know, you got a laptop, you get all those stickers on the front that tell you everything that's in it, and you hate them because after a while they get dirty, you know? Uh -huh. Those aren't right. the stickers we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You'd be happy if those stickers were gone. So, what are the. It's a Windows license sticker, yep. right? And when you buy a new computer, it comes pre installed with Microsoft Windows. Right now, Windows 8 is the operating system that most people get. Well, if you have a situation where your hard drive crashes and we have to put a new hard drive in or the manufacturer has to put a new hard drive in, um, you know, gone are the days of the recovery disk. They don't give you recovery disks anymore. So you're expected to make your own recovery disk when you get the computer. Well, no one ever does that. So they bring it into my service center and they say, okay, my hard drive has crashed. Will you fix my computer? So we put a new hard drive in. We load Windows on it. But guess what we need to get Windows to work. We need an activation code. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now with Windows 7, that code has always been on the sticker, on the case, and, we, and it, it's been ingrained in people since 19, Windows 98. Yep, don't it, throw away the sticker. If you don't have a sticker, sticker. It's like the, someone's the ripping you off. activation mm -hmm. code type yeah. deal. Yeah, if you don't have a sticker, someone is ripping you off. If you buy a computer on Craigslist and they're yep. like, oh, it comes with Windows and Office and there's no stickers on the computer, mm -hmm. someone's ripping you off. Well now, with Windows 8, Microsoft is not requiring the large OEM manufacturers, the HPs, the Dells, the Acers, the Asuses, to actually put a sticker on the case that has the code. So the why here, if we're all so used to it, why did they stop with the sticker? Well, a couple of reasons. One is when they put a sticker with a code on every computer that can be activated more than one time, guess what's going to happen to that code over time? So what ends up happening is when the state buys thousands of computers, and there was a, there was a reseller actually in Lincoln that got busted for doing this well, a few years back. There's still a federal court case on going on about it, but um, basically they, the state's done with the computers. They sell them at auction. Uh, so you buy a pallet of old Dells, and then you refurb them and resell them. Well, you're required when you, that license applies to the state. It doesn't, you can't sell it to a person, but that code will work to get Windows reinstalled on it. So by not putting the codes on there, Microsoft is stopping a lot of stop software piracy. But in doing that, if you bring your computer into us and you don't have a code, we have to sell you another $200 copy of Windows 8 because huh. We, we need a code to install it. It's nothing that, that we're you know, yeah. trying That's to make money key. on. Yeah, we key. have to do it. You're buying it twice, and it's rightfully yours. You're not trying to con anybody. Right, and the thing is, people don't understand about licenses for software. When you go out to the store, no matter what the software is, even a video game for a Wii or for, the, for a Nintendo DS or anything, you're not actually buying the game. You don't own the software. It's not yours. You own a license to use the software within the terms that the company sets out mm -hmm. for you. So when you buy a computer with Windows, you are buying a computer loaded with Windows, and that license says on this computer, you can use Microsoft Windows. If you want to transfer the Windows license to another person, you have to sell the whole computer with it. Now, the thing is, Microsoft defines a computer as the main board inside the computer. So what they've started doing is they've started hard coding these codes inside the computer's main board. So even worse now, you come into me with a bad motherboard and need a motherboard replacement. We replace the motherboard and we don't have your Windows code, you have to buy Windows all over wow. again. This yeah. is all bad news. If you buy a new, com if you buy a new computer, news. can you put the, the Windows onto your, your new computer? You're not supposed to, no. Okay. You're supposed to buy a, a, new co a new copy of Windows for each computer you own. Uh, but one of the things that we do is, mm -hmm. at Schrock, when we sell a computer... Give us some good news. I feel like at this point... <laughs> it's a downer, yeah. Like, you want the bad news first or the bad news first? Well, I mean, <laughs> nothing has really changed. This is how software has been forever. Yeah. It's just it's never been enforced. It's like a, a law where they say the speed limit is 55, but everyone mm -hmm. goes 70. No one ever gets a ticket. Well, then one day, you know, Barney Five comes out and decides he's going to enforce the speed limit, and everyone gets really upset about it. Well, what's happening now at Schrock is when we sell a computer, now we pay extra to get the stickers that have the codes on it. So when you buy a desktop from Schrock, you get the code. But when we sell laptops and other things, you know, we don't have, there's no such thing as a modular laptop. We sell the same laptops you can find at any of the box stores, the Best Buys, the Mart. We can get anything they've got. And we carry in stock a lot of the stuff they have. Well, what we do is when we give you, when you're saying, okay, I want this laptop, this is the one I want. And we take the laptop and we run a little program on it that extracts the Windows code. And we put that in your file. And then that way, whenever you need that, you, that Windows code, as far as we're concerned, is yours. Mm -hmm. But it makes our jobs a lot easier when you need a repair. You store that information we do. in your system. And so then if you fly in. off to Arizona, be a snowbird, or avoid a tornado maybe, I don't know. You, you go down to Arizona and your, your computer dies. Well, obviously, you're not going to bring it back to Schrock Innovations in, in, in Omaha. You're going to go to someplace in Arizona to get it fixed. Well, you call us up. We give you the code.
It's that easy. Just, hey, here's your code. It's in our file. It's just yeah. so, it, you don't think about that stuff. No. It's like sometimes when you're buying a car, when you're doing anything, you don't really think about long term what you're in for. Yeah, and we have seen in our service center uh, a number of people coming. Mm -hmm. We've sold probably more computers in the last three weeks since everyone started to figure out this Windows 8 yeah. code. Then normally in the spring, things start slowing down with computer sales. We have a big holiday season and then uh -huh. a slower spring and then back to school kicks in. We, it hasn't slowed down one bit for us since the holiday season because we're giving people these codes. Well, three places where you can find Schrock Innovations in and Omaha. Those, and those codes. Yeah, that's right. In <laughs> Omaha, Village Point South, also in Papillion off 72nd and Highway 370. And the original location is still in Lincoln. Um, the website, by the way, is SchrockInnovations.com. But Sh Thor and his team are also on Facebook and always posting deals there or uh, great tidbits of information the rest of us can use on Facebook. Quick question. If I, if I had someone develop up an app for Schrock Innovations. Mm -hmm. Do you guys install it on your smartphone? Why not? What would it do? Let's talk about this in the what, commercial break. They're going to yell at us if we don't get out of here. We, we, I would. Thor, I would do that for okay. you. I, this one, she's tough though. That's I don't really hard. know how. I'm not really good at she this stuff. I'll install it. Thanks for you. coming. You got to break it down. <laughs> so, if you're watching the current season of Project Runway, you're probably familiar with Amanda Valentine. The Nebraska native is still in town on the heels of Omaha Fashion Week. Our chat with the designer is next.